All right, update on the CNC laser build. So first thing I did was I got an analog milliamp meter, hardwired that in because this is a digital output and all it tells you is the percentage of power, not the actual milliamps that the laser is shooting. So I added that so you can fine tune it. Second thing, this is the original bed and this is the only area that you would be able to um, laser engrave. So of course I'm gonna junk that. Got this nice expanded metal bed now. And then, got this air assist upgrade. So this tube right here will go over to my air spout and will distribute air down to the workpiece to put out any fires. And this is where the magic happens. So boom, boom, zap, zap, whatever happens inside the laser, shoots that laser into that mirror right there, comes through the case, hits that mirror right there, comes down into that little hole, hits that mirror, and the lens is right inside of there, right under the air assist, and then hits the workpiece to cut. The original head did not have the air inlet, so the first thing we had to do was add one with an air inlet, and there was no way for this airline to just float in space, so I added this cable chain right here to the pre-existing bolt. That cable chain is going to run back to right here, and that air hose is going to follow into the electronics box, and then come out to here and at the end we've got a barb to quarter inch in PT and then we're gonna have our water filter water separator and then a regulator so we can back it off and then this will plug boom right into the spout assisted air and a k40 laser